Let me test the audio again. Hello, hello, hello. Uh -huh, uh -huh, balls. <laughs> Alright, what's up fellas? It's Carbskin back again with another incredible video. Today I had a pretty straightforward idea, you know. As you guys may or may not know, AI is taking over the world as we know it. Basically, there's this new program, this new this new artificial intelligence called uh, ChatGPT. If you don't know what it does, basically you can type in anything to it and it'll it'll answer it. So for example, write me a 300 word Actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll scale it up a bit. Write me a 2,000 word essay about quantum mechanics. Just give it a second. It's gonna take a second to think, you know? <laughs> and then it just does it. Oh, did it finish? Is it done? I wasn't paying attention. So as you can see, it wrote me this entire essay, uh, zero grammatical errors, by the way, and it did it in about a minute. So I figured while we sit here and wait for AI to inevitably take over the world and annihilate humanity, we could at least have some fun while we do it, <laughs> you know? So I asked ChatGPT to tell me how to beat Minecraft, but I didn't want it to just tell me the fastest or smartest way to beat the game. No, that'd be too intelligent. And I'm a dumbass. So I asked the bot to give me a five-step guide on how to beat Minecraft in a really stupid way. And it sure did. I am so fucking excited for gaming time! Yes! Yes! What am I doing? <laughs> so you might think that the very first thing that I need to do is go over to this tree and punch it down to collect some wood. And that's where you would be wrong. Because ChatGPT says to start by gathering resources in a silly and fishy manner. Such as fishing for resources with a fishing rod instead of mining them. Or by using a fishing rod as a weapon instead of a sword. So the very first thing we need to do is get a fishing rod. And I don't know how in the hell I'm going to do that. I think the first thing I should try to do is find an ocean. I'm just now realizing how long this challenge is gonna take. This is horrible. I'm already starting to lose hunger. This isn't looking good. Why did I put this world on hard mode? What is wrong with me? Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. I can I can go punch these fish for food, right? There's nothing wrong with that, right? Come here, bitch. <sighs> Come here, fish. Yeah! I'd like to think that this is how cavemen got their food. I punch fish with other fish, and I get food. This is honestly the smartest way to play Minecraft right here. I like to, uh, I'd like to see this strategy implemented in the next uh, 1.19 world record speedrun, actually. Oh my gosh, I'm just like Dream. Except instead of cheating on speedruns, I cheat on women. Is that an ocean? Oh my gosh, that's an ocean. I'm about to throw my car battery in there you'd think it'd be easier to find like an ocean ruins in i don't know the ocean but i guess maybe i was wrong you know the minecraft ocean is so beautiful compared to the real life ocean i'm noticing a significant lack of sprite bottles in the ocean <laughs> where, if i were a chest where would i be okay oh, 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 fishing rod. Oh, 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 oh. we can do stuff now that we've got our fishing rod yes oh we can get wood now. I think we have to make a pickaxe in order to progress the game, so I'm gonna do it. You know what? We'll use we'll use the materials that we got from fishing, so it's not cheating. Got a golden pickaxe now. It also said that I had to use the fishing rod as a weapon, so we'll we'll see how that goes. With the fishing rod collected, now it was time to collect resources so I could get to the nether for the next step in ChatGPT's abominable gauntlet. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT how I should find iron. Chat. GPT, how do I get iron? Okay, so he just basically gave me the very generic answer of you have to mine it. Thanks, chat GPT. That's that's really I really appreciate that. That's very insightful. Thank you. How do I get it without mining? Trade with villagers? I'm not doing that. Find iron in village chests. Villages often contain iron tools, weapons, and armor in their chests. We're gonna go find iron in a village because I don't want to look for it to mine it. Wait, what is this? Is this a village? I've never seen one of these before. Why are there cobwebs all over it? Oh, we got a chest plate. Oh. All right, we're here for iron. Hopefully they have iron. Otherwise, I'm gonna be quite sad. Oh, iron. Oh, we can make our bucket. Oh, we can make our bucket. We can go to the nether. Let's go. Now we have to go to the nether. And that's going to be very scary with uh, my very limited armor and on hard mode. <laughs> that's really that's really quite horrifying, actually. Once we're at the nether, we have to get some glowstone because the next thing ChatGPT wants us to do is to build structures that symbolize my journey, such as a path made of glowstone to represent the light <laughs> in the darkness or a bridge made of cobwebs to represent overcoming obstacles. That's beautiful, honestly. It's like Shakespeare. 
Shakespearean. I don't think I can get cobwebs, so I'm just gonna make the, the path out of glowstone. We're at our lava pool, finally. All right, so I'm no speedrunner. I don't know how to make the speed portal, so we're just gonna do it the silly, funny way. No, no, no. Oh, no. Why did I do that? <laughs> well, we've encountered a little bit of a predicament here. Just a, a, a little bit of an oopsie. A little bit of an oopsie daisy. <laughs> Why did I do that? Maybe we could find some, uh, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. It's kind of a, kind of a, kind of a creep. <gasps> <gasps> Game. All right, guys, so I did some off-camera mining, and I got some iron here. I've actually got full diamond armor now. <laughs> Beautiful. Finally, I, I cannot believe it took me this long. It took me an hour and two minutes to uh, finally light the nether portal. Yeah, I'm just going to say it how it is. The nether was not fun at all. It sucked. I spent probably a good two hours in the nether alone, and I died several times. It was horrendous, and I'm going to try my best to cut it down as much as I can for you because it sucked. There's our glowstone, so we can build our, our path for our, our great glowstone path to symbolize our, our, our light in the darkness. We got some glowstone. That's good. It doesn't have to be a very long path, I don't think. The next thing I had to do was to find the nether fortress, so of course I asked ChatGPT where to look. Should I go north, south, east, or west? Go east. All right. <laughs> it could have been any direction, and he chose this one. This is... Okay, I, I do not want to be anywhere near that. <laughs> Why does this scare me so? <gasps> oh, that's the fortress. Thank you, ChatGPT. Oh my gosh. No way. It told me exactly where I needed to go. See, this is the power of AI. That's incredible. There's blazes over there. You know what? Let's go kill him. Please don't kill me. Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. He might go in that book. Get away! Get away! Get away! No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. This is horrifying. Well, there's our spawner. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did I take damage there? <laughs> I got one. Okay. If I get caught on fire, I'm done. Like, there's nothing I can do. Can I? Can I use this to reel him closer to me? Oh my gosh, I can! Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> this is awesome, actually. Come here. <laughs> Dude, no way. No way is this working. This is so stupid. Oh no, my fishing rod broke. I'm gonna have to punch him to death. Yes! Oh, this is awesome. We gotta kill this Enderman now while I'm here. This doesn't count because I lost my fishing rod, so I'm allowed to do this. Let's go. Let's do it to this one, too. Oh my gosh, I got two of them. My luck is incredible. <gasps> is that a Bastion? Yo! What's in here? Oh! Oh! String! Oh! Oh, we can make fishing rods! What a waste. What is that? Is that a fire resistant potion? Oh my gosh, that's so clutch! Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, we need one more. I got it, I got it. Oh my gosh, I got it! Yes! Dude, yes! Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> that's great. Oh, he figured it out. Hello. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him get one block. And that about sums up the rest of my time in the nether. I died two more times to Enderman, but eventually I got all the pearls I needed to finally leave that godforsaken realm behind. Right after I left the nether though, this happened. What do I- ah! <laughs> I hate this game. I hate it. I hate- I hate this stupid little fairy tale block game. I- So I had to run back again, and then it was finally time to build that stupid glowstone path so I could move on. There is no better way to remind us there is always hope through perseverance and to build, to erect this great glowstone monument. It is glorious. It connects the two lanes, just like how I want to connect my toaster to a power outlet and then take a shower with it. Our glowstone path, it is glorious. All right, so the third challenge that ChatGPT gave me was to create weapons that symbolize my determination, such as a diamond sword to represent my strength or a bow made of obsidian to represent resilience. Now, I don't, I don't know if you guys know this about Minecraft or not, but you can't make a bow out of obsidian. This, this right here, pretend this is obsidian. That doesn't work. That's not a thing. So I don't know what Chad GPT was trying to say, but I have a solution to this problem. It's beautiful. <laughs> when I think resilience, I think of that right there. All right, so now I have to create a diamond sword somehow. The next step on my journey was to go find diamonds. And you already know I wasn't about to go mining because that's too easy. So I decided I would take to the oceans once again in the spirit of fishiness. I went looking for shipwrecks because I knew those had treasure maps in them that would lead me to diamonds. Oh, I found it. Let's go. Yes, we, we found diamonds. diamonds. We, we found diamonds. diamonds. But I didn't just need diamonds for a diamond sword. I also needed another diamond for something in the final step of ChatGPT's challenge. I finally was able to craft the diamond sword I needed to complete step three. But then I went on a detour to get the stuff I needed to make pumpkin pies. Let me tell you, the best part about this was getting the eggs. All right, come on, guys. Let's go to the cock hole. Come on, get in the cock hole. Get in the cock hole. Oh my gosh, doing the chicken dance actually works. I then kept searching until I found more diamonds to make a jukebox. You'll see why soon. Before I could continue on my quest, I had a few things I needed to grind for before I could move on to step four. The last two things I needed to get were a saddle and a music disc. It's fishing time. There's nothing I love more in life than a cold beer and a nice fishing trip. So I fished for what seemed like hours until I finally got the saddle. <gasps> Dude, I literally just said this is going to take me hours and I was about to stop fishing. That's crazy. And then I trapped the creeper and a skeleton in boats and I made the skeleton bully the creeper until he dropped the disc that I needed. Finally, it was time for step four. It's time for the fourth step. Okay, I need a boat and I need a pig. Step four was pretty straightforward, asking me to travel to the stronghold by riding on a pig or by boat. Hence why I needed the saddle. Martha, I'm coming. There's our pig. There's our pig. Oh, he is so slow. I gotta kill this spider. Hang on. All right. Let's go. All right. We gotta figure out where to throw this. It's that way. Into the sea. Thank God. That means I can sail with Bertha and I don't have to ride on her back. Let's, uh, go right here. Throw it again. It's way back this way. Okay. Oh, it's back. Okay. All right, Bertha. I think this might have to be where we part ways, Bertha. It's been an honor. You're gonna have to wait here for me, okay? Oh, okay. It's the first time I've done like actual proper mining in this in this playthrough. Oh, there we go. Oh, I wonder how long I'll be running around looking for the portal. What about down here? What's down through here? Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. All right, well, there's our portal. We found it. Oh, and two of them are filled in. We're good. This was it. The culmination of almost six hours of total gameplay to get to this point. We had finally made it to the end portal. Now all that was left to do was to rely on our good old friend ChatGPT one last time to tell us how to beat the dragon. And it told me to distract the dragon with music and by throwing pumpkin pies at him. What an incredible strategy. Boys, I have been playing this for five and a half hours straight and it is finally time. I have finally gotten to the portal with everything that I need. Everything that ChatGPT instructed me to do, I have done. I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Let's do it. All right. The very first thing I need to do, I need to distract the dragon. Let's distract him. Do you think he likes it? Do you think this is, uh... 
He's just helping. Here, I'll leave him a little. I'll leave him a little something to eat too. On top of the jukebox. There you go, buddy. Just take your time. You know, whenever you're ready, just come get some. Uh, come get some pumpkin pie. You know, come down and enjoy it. Oh, look. See. He's ready to have a nice little meal with me. Oh, he's so excited to eat his pumpkin pie. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. All right, I think he's distracted enough. It's time. I I don't know what just happened, but this Enderman's not happy with me. <laughs> Stop being mad at me. What the fuck? Okay, it's time to finish the job. Get from right here. Here we go. There, did he put dragon breath on the... Dude, what an asshole. He put dragon breath on this so I can't get up. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh, we destroyed all the towers. Dude, I'm built like that. I'm built like that. There's one more tower. Gosh dang it. Okay. <laughs> That's all of them. That's all of them. Let me get in there. What the... Why am I up in the air? Yeah, you like that? You like taking my rod? You like taking my rod, bitch? You dragon bitch? You like that, huh? Okay. Oh my gosh, I need one more cycle and then he's dead. We are about to kill the Ender Dragon with a fishing rod after doing everything that ChatGPT told us to do. We just have to wait for the Ender Dragon to come down. Come on! Come on! <laughs> yes! Dude! Oh. Oh, man. Oh. And that's it. I did it. I don't ever want to do this again. This is it. <laughs> I don't ever, ever want to do this again. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe because I put a ton of time and effort into this video and I would really appreciate it. I love you guys and carb skin to the moon.